hi you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel so today i'm so excited to test out a brand new product for you guys that is this right here this is the p10 robot vacuum cleaner do you want to know what this is about and what my opinion is going to be on how this works stay tuned you guys so the company did send me this for review so thank you so much for sending me your robot vacuum to test out and show my viewers i greatly do appreciate it this is by air robo and this is the p10 robot vacuum cleaner i'm so excited to get in and see what this is going to do so let's go ahead and learn a little bit about this then we're going to unbox it then i'm going to put this baby to the test we're going to see how it works and then i will be back to finalize to give you my real honest opinion on this particular product. So again, this is the P10 robot vacuum cleaner. It has 2600 PA strong suction with this guy. Max suction mode increases vacuum power to 2000 PA to provide a deeper and more thorough clean whenever you need it. There's an upgraded smart protection, improved super sensitive anti-collision technology for evading obstacles and drop sensing technology for avoiding falls. Powered by a 2600 mAh ion battery, there's multiple cleaning modes to meet your different cleaning needs and ensure an effortless, thorough clean while you relax. Schedule cleaning. You can also set schedules to wake up and start a cleaning job so it can take place while you're out of the house. It has a compact design. It's thinner than most robot vacuum cleaners, which allows it to glide under more furniture, picking up plenty of hidden debris large dust box. A 510 ml large dust bin holds more dirt per clean to reduce the frequency of emptying. This is a great tool for anybody that'll help you clean your house. If you have pets, if you don't have pets, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, this robot vacuum will do it all for you. And all you have to do is just let it do its thing. And <laughs> you sit back and relax while it cleans your house. I will have the link for this down below in the description box if you would like to definitely go and check it out. But let's go ahead and open it up. So then here is a manual that is right on top. So there is like this, it looks like it would be a little tool to help clean. We have a power cord. Here is a remote control for it. Here is the vacuum. And this must be its little charging station. So here is the remote and it requires two, it looks like triple A batteries, which I have. Yeah, two triple A batteries would go right in there. We have the charging cord. Yeah, that's it, that's the bottom. There's the top and that's its little charging spot. That is so tiny. So it does have its little things sticking out of the packaging. So be careful when you are maneuvering to get this off. And it does have a little warning sticker right there. It says, Warning, please remove the EVA protection stopper before using, which is this right there. There's one over here. Okay, so I think that's the only thing that you need to remove. This is what the bottom of it looks like. This is the whole side and the top. Very nice and sleek, all black. It has their logo right there. And then there's just an on and off button on the top. So let's go ahead and get this charged up and let's see how it works. Let's get to cleaning. Charging. Okay guys, so I'm plugging it into the actual charging base and I plugged it directly into the wall. Underneath here, I wanted to show you, so I didn't pull them all the way off. Two of them I pulled off and two of them I haven't. They do have like this little shiny sticker on the bottom. If you remove it, then it kind of makes it like a non-slip um, platform for it. So when you do set it down, it'll, it won't move or anything. It'll be nice and sturdy. So I'm going to turn this on so I can start to synchronize it. There is an actual on and off switch right here. So we'll turn that on. All right, so let's go ahead and start from the setup. Now, if you do not wanna use your smartphone and download the app to actually use it, you can just use this remote control. So with the remote control, you have all of the same functions at hand. Right here, you have the Wi-Fi button. 
This one is the charging button. This is your directional buttons for manual operation. You have a pause and a go button right there. This is for a spot zigzag. This is for a spot spiral. This is for edging. This is how you can change the suction. So when you press that, it'll go up from the different levels. And then here is the volume button. So all of that you can use on the remote. If you do want to download the app, then I'm gonna show you how simple it was to install. You can do one of two things. You can actually scan the QR reader that is on this little pamphlet, or in the actual manual, you can go ahead and scan this. So open up your camera, scan the QR code reader. It'll take you right to the app. You can download the app and then you get started. Once you have it all downloaded and you open up the app for the first time, it's going to ask you to put in an email address. You put in the email address, it'll send you an email with an email verification code. You take that code, plop it in there, and then you can move forward. You put in a password and then you can actually start connecting your device. When you go to connect your device, there are several different options. This particular app will cover a whole lot of different products. So very simple. You scroll down until you see the side which says small home appliance. And then on there, you will see the three different ones that looks just like this robot vacuum. And you click the one in the middle that says robot vacuum Wi-Fi. Once you click that, then you're gonna start the process to actually synchronize the two together. Now at this point, um, I'm gonna tell you, it took me a very long time to get it connected and then I figured out what my problem was. So at first it wasn't connecting and I told my man, I'm like, can you like turn your computer off because I think your computer is just a consuming all of the data from our, our internet in this house because he has a gaming computer on and it was running. And he's like, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. It's just, you're doing something else. So I kept trying different things. I was trying the other icons thinking maybe I was clicking on the wrong one. And about an hour later, I'm like, literally, can you just please shut it off to see? And as soon as he shut his computer off and I clicked it one more time, instantly it installed within seconds. I mean, within seconds. So if you have any issues with it failing to connect when you are trying to connect it by Wi-Fi, go through and turn anything else off that might be pulling from your Wi-Fi. Turn computers off, other smartphone devices, that kind of thing. Shut all those down temporarily just so you can connect for the first time. Once you're connected, that's it. You don't have to do it every time you're using it. You just need it for the first initial connection. So again, once I had a good strong connection, it was instant and then that's where you can start going through all of the settings and seeing everything that this particular device can do so now that i've gone over how to set up the app let's go ahead and start using it okay guys so this has been going on just for a little bit it hasn't even done maybe even not even a complete one whole room yet i'm gonna go ahead and see if i need to empty it or take a break, <laughs> take a break. let's go ahead and take a break and see what? Ah, uh, oh my gosh, the thing is actually overflowing. Holy moly. Okay. And that nastiness right there is what is in there. And oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> okay, so now that it's nice and cleaned, let's keep on going. Initiating. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually going to be moving the home charger underneath this station. It actually goes under there very well, so I thought that would be the best way to store it, and then it's actually out of the way. So I went ahead and just put the base down there. I took the stickers off of all edges. So I'm gonna have it go ahead and go home, and then from the home base, I'm gonna have it start cleaning. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a cleaning right now. Nobody's in the house. They don't have a dog to bark at it or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing. I did close off the bedroom two doors and the bathroom door because it does not need to go in there today. So if you wanna stop it, you could just hit this button. It says, take a break. And when you resume, cleaning makes me happy. <laughs> Please put me back on the floor and then restart. 
the button is blinking red. So whenever you are ready to resume, Okay, so it's done going through everything. So let's go ahead and pull this out and see what we've got going on. Ooh, yep, you can see right there. <laughs> There's some nice stuff. Let's go ahead and take this to the trash can and I will show you how I use the little cleaning tool. Okay, so I am over my trash can and I'm going to open this up. Ooh. Okay, so that is all the loveliness that it found all over my floor, baseboards, everywhere that it traveled. So every time when I'm done, I not only dump this out, I take this little tool. I had my man drill a hole in it so I can attach something so I can hang it here next to the trash can. But I use this and I go through and take all of this little fuzziness, all this dirt and debris. I clean this all off really good. And if you needed to, you could always remove this part and get to the actual filter itself. See? The upkeep and cleaning is going to be the longevity of this guy. So I definitely want to make sure that it's cleaned out. And now it's clean and ready for the next time. And then when you put it back in, it goes with the image facing up and it just slides right back in. If you didn't see how to remove it, it has this right here, you'd lift this down and it releases it and you just pull it right out. And then you just slide it right back in and you're good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have it go home to charge. Charging. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys how you can clean this right here. I'm gonna just set this upside down. This little cover comes off and then you can use this tool to grab like all the hair and stuff that is on here. I definitely want to clean all of this because look, this is, yeah, that's my hair. It comes right out. So now that I have this all out, I can use a little claw and I can grab all the hair and pull it off and then have it nice and clean to go back in. Okay, so now I got all of the hair off of the roll and now it's ready to reinstall. Like that. So let's start going through the different settings and what it can do. Let's go ahead and do this one right here by using the remote. So it's gonna go through the edges. Okay, so let's just say I accidentally spilled, oh my gosh, I hope I don't regret this, some rice on the floor. So now let's have it go the spiral. This is for a spot. Okay, so let's do this again. Now that my rice is cleaned up, let's go ahead and just try the spot. Okay. So it starts out small, it goes bigger, it turns itself around and goes back the other way. Cleaning task completed, going to charge. I don't want it to charge because I still want to show you what the zigzag does. So if you press it, let's take a break. So let's try the zigzag option. So it's still like for a certain spot and it'll go zigzag.
So that is a lot of footage of how I used it, the different things on how I go with cleaning it, the different functions that it can do. So now let's go ahead and go back to the settings of the app and I wanna show you exactly how you can use it and what all settings you can do inside of the app. So when you go to the app, you can choose which way you would like to vacuum. So the different options you have is clean, auto, edging, pause, spot, zigzag, recharge, manual, and then settings. When you go under settings, you can then choose the different suction setting. You can go from quiet, standard, powerful to max. Quiet and standard is very, very quiet. It, you can barely hear it. When you go to powerful and max, these two seem to be about the same. It's a little bit louder. You can hear it a little bit more, but it's not too, too loud. So that's where you can decide which one you would like, or you can actually do it from the remote as well. Also in the settings, you get to see what the brush life is for the side brushes, the main brush life, and the filter life. It'll have a find me setting, so if that bad boy's lost in your house somewhere, you can do the find me to locate it in your house. There's a history, so you can see all of the different times you've let this thing come out and start doing anything at all, and then you can actually do a schedule. I did a schedule for the very first time, and within that, right at that time, it came out and started doing what it needed to do. I'm like, wow, alrighty then. Okay, so this is going to be the first time me scheduling it and it's going to do its own thing at the scheduled time. I also did select quiet mode for this one so we can hear how quiet it will be. That will be the lowest setting or the least loud setting. And there it is, right on time. And um, yeah, this is so quiet. Also on the app, when you are using it, you can see it'll map out where it has gone so you can see its territories. So sometimes if I wanna check on it, like where is it going, I'll open up the app and I'll be like, okay, it's gone through the hallway, it's gone through my recording studio, it's in the bedroom or oh, it's in the closet. I can see where it is because when it's in other rooms, I don't hear it whatsoever. So I kind of forget about it. I'm like, oh, where is that? So I wanted to look and I can check the battery life to make sure it's not getting low, that kind of thing. So the app is very beneficial if you like using them, but if not, not, this will help just as well if I'm not here let's just say and there's a mess and someone needs to clean something up my man has this that he can start it and do what needs to be done so I like that you can do both you can use one or the other whatever you would prefer so once you have it all set up then you can start using it and when you do I'm just going to let you know that the first time especially if you're going over carpet and stuff like that I would just check the dust pocket just just test that maybe after each room until you do it a few times because it's going to find all kinds of dirt and debris i think it goes through and like sucks your baseboards too i don't know this thing <laughs> this thing's like a miracle worker i'm extremely extremely clean i've been told through my entire life that i have ocd and i'm like okay if you want to consider that a cleaning disorder no problem but i love to be clean i go through and i vacuum all of our because we have wood floors throughout the entire house except the master bedroom and our closet so those two rooms has carpet in everything else is hardwood floors i now have been putting down more and more rugs to help my dog she's and slides with her little feet and I don't want her to hurt herself so I have rugs throughout the house mainly just for her and anytime like I would be cleaning normally I would use a broom and I would go through and I would actually brush off all my baseboards then I would go and vacuum everything and then I would go through and mop it and even when I go to the mopping I would still find stuff and I'm like dang okay but I'm doing the best that I can with what I have, you know. Everything is always so clean. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like we have anything around. Until I use this, this guy is finding things from, like I'm telling you, it goes into every little nook and cranny. It's lower design so it can fit under furniture. It goes right underneath the entertainment center. It goes underneath chairs and bar stools. It goes underneath like my coffee bar area and it just goes everywhere. This thing 
I never knew a difference between this type of a vacuum than an upright vacuum until I actually use this. And this is what I've noticed. With a normal upright vacuum, when I'm going through, especially on my wood floors, when I'm going through, the vacuum is pushing out air. You always feel that, and it's just what vacuums do. So like, like for example, I could see some little dog hair, my little Vienna hair. <laughs> I love her to death, I don't mind. So if I were to see her little hairs and I'm going through with the vacuum, it's pushing the hairs away before I even get there to be sucked up. So this robot vacuum doesn't have the air that pushes out. It only sucks in. Now I did do a little tryout where I put the rice down on the floor and I even said when I first did it, I'm probably gonna regret this. And I, I don't regret it because at least it showed you guys what it will do. So if there's something that's a light, airy substance that you're trying to pick up with the bristles, it will, it pushed the rice around. But as it kept going, it kept sucking everything up. It eventually sucked everything up. I only picked up one piece of rice because it was underneath the shoe rack that it can't get under because it only has like a gap open this much. So under there, I literally just had to grab one piece of rice that I found. But everything else, it did suck it up. And it does say inside of this manual actually, the rotating brushes may occasionally reject smaller particles like dog food, cat litter, but the robot will remove them all eventually. So again, it wasn't the air that pushed the rice away. It was the little bristles. So when it, it, it just tossed the rice all over, but as it was going through, it started sucking everything up and it actually collected all of it. It goes through and it's sucking up all of the dirt, debris, hair, everything. It has so many dust bunnies that it's finding. It's like, where in the world are you finding this? And I've been using this for a month now, testing this out. I've used this several, several times. Like almost every other day I'm bringing this out and using it because I want to know is it going to glitch is it going to do anything and it hasn't glitched it hasn't done anything it's done everything that it is supposed to the only problem that it did have and a good suggestion for anybody that might want to purchase this one is have the home base charger in an open area where it's easy for it to get to the first time I just thought okay out of sight out of mind I'm going to put it over here next to this door that we don't use my dog's bed's there and it just can go back there where nobody goes and it won't be in the way but for the vacuum to go back to its charger it's going around so many different obstacles and chairs and all kinds of stuff that I thought it was getting a little confused to find its home base so I moved it and since it goes right under the coffee bar I thought that's just a perfect place to put it because then it can go under there tuck itself underneath and you don't even see it until you want to bring it out so I went ahead and moved the charger over there and ever since I did that without fail it goes back home with no problems when you do have the charger base make sure you do have at least one meter on both sides of it the right and the left and two meters in front so there's nothing in front to any obstacles or anything like that so it can find its home it can get out it can do everything that it needs to do properly so the first few times I let it go through and do everything and I was so so shocked at how much this thing is literally sucking up and still to this day I can have it go through and do my whole entire house and then four hours later I can have it go through again and it's still going to be picking up more stuff and I'm like where are you getting all of this? I don't know what it's doing. And that's why I said, I think it just like has like little magical particles that like sucks everything up through the baseboards and everything and getting underneath other furniture that normal vacuums and uprights cannot do. This thing is a huge game changer for me. Like I don't think I'm going to bust out my upright vacuum anymore that I now that I have this unless this is like not charged and I really 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 have to then I can plug that in and do it really quick but other than that this is like the only vacuum that I'm going to be using because not only is it quiet it can run while you're doing your normal activities like we were all watching a movie and it came in from the other room and we didn't even notice that it was still I mean we knew it was there but it wasn't enough to where we had to turn the volume up or anything like that if I were in there with a normal upright vacuuming the living room I'm a man was watching TV he would not be able to hear what he was watching whatsoever plus you have a body moving around in the way this little guy just does its own thing on the floor and stays out of its way I did try to see if it would go down a curb um, the only step I have is going outside of the kitchen so I went ahead and opened the door when it was going straight and it just stopped it's like like oh I'm not nope nope 
like psych bitch i'm not going this way no <laughs> you think no you think no you think no and at first when it went over the threshold i thought it was just gonna plummet right out but no it completely stopped so it does have a sensor so it will not go down heavy drops or anything like that the wheels do raise up so in one video i do show you how much the the wheels will raise up and lower so if you have thick carpet if you have a thick rug if you have a thick threshold or something small for it to go over it would go over it no problem it went right over my foot no problem Problem and kept on going one thing that I asked my man I was like so now that I've been using this for about a month now do you see a difference and he laughed at me he's like um that's a no-brainer I'm like what do you mean he goes for one I don't smell pet odor and I was like then I started taking offense like what you think my dog stinks and he's like no it's just with pet you just smell pets like any any household that has pets you just smell like a pet odor and he's like I don't know if it was like her hair that was in little spots that we couldn't get to that I could smell but now that I've been using this he says he does not smell it at all his nose is a lot more sensitive to scents than mine so he can smell things that I can't so he noticed that real quick he said as soon as I've been using this he has not noticed that for the rest of this month having that smell at all so it will help with eliminating pet odor which that's an amazing thing and then with my rugs everywhere I do have them like um, they're not glued down, but they're like taped down with like a double sided tape that's meant for rugs so they can't move. So when I go through and I'm vacuuming my house, like dirt and debris and little rocks and dust and stuff always gets in like the cracks and crevices of the rug. And one thing that he noticed with this, it does not do that. He's like, you can look at every single edge in this house and everything is cleaned completely. So this thing not only, and that was on standard. I only started putting it on the higher settings just to try it out to know if I see a difference. It's just like I said, a little bit louder. And I don't really notice a difference is like it's getting more in the dust pan. I'm sure it's sucking more because the power is greater. But if you don't have a whole lot of stuff everywhere, then you can just leave it at the standard or the quiet mode and you would be 100% good to go. This thing is an amazing device. And again, I never knew the difference between this type type of a vacuum than an upright until I started using this and I don't want to go back to an upright I'm just gonna tell you those that just push the air everywhere it just isn't a very good thorough cleaning and this guy does a very good thorough cleaning one other good thing about this, if you do have an Alexa or a Google Assistant, that kind of thing, it will link up to those so you can, I guess, tell through those devices and control it through that as well. We do not have any type of listening device in our household, so I can't test that feature, but they do have that option that it can link to, like I said, an Alexa, a Google Assistant, and others. So my final thoughts on this, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Not only is it priced very well, because even before when I was trying to look at these, I thought one, they're too overpriced, two, maybe my house is too small for it, but that was not true. And just three, I would just, I had a vacuum, so I didn't see spending several hundred dollars on another one when I already spent that on this one. So I've never really thought twice about them, even though they seem like they were a neat concept. I'm like, well, I have my upright, I vacuum all the time, I don't need one. But now I know the huge difference in this type of a clean versus what I was doing, and it is a huge, huge difference. So if you have a robot vacuum or you know somebody who has, comment down below and let everybody know how you like it and what your thoughts were with them. Because with me, I cannot be happier with the performance of this particular device. If you want to check it out, everything will be linked down below. You can definitely go check it out. I am 100% loving this vacuum. I never, never, never knew how much I needed one until now. I can walk through my house and it just feels so much cleaner. And you have these nice shiny floors, clean, sucked baseboards. Everything is just super, super clean thanks to this robot vacuum. So that is everything that I have to say and show for this Air Robo Vacuum. Vacuum. I am absolutely loving, loving, loving this. So again, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of it? Let me know your positive interaction it means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Crafty Crew out.